we're on pace right now for, I think, about 54, which would certainly be a record for Winnipeg. Uh, we had previously set that not record in 2019. As of mid-May, Winnipeg has hit 20 homicides. If numbers continue to rise at this rate, the city will reach a record-breaking number in homicides by the end of the year. It's quite shocking. At this point last year, we only had seven homicides. Now we have 20. So that's a significant difference. Constable Jay Murray says they're not exactly sure what's causing the spike in homicides and that the nature of them are inherently random. They largely depend on um, how soon a, a victim is found, um, how often or how quickly they can get medical attention, proximity to a hospital, things like that. Um, but uh, nonetheless, it's, it's a very concerning number for us. Constable Murray goes on to say the vast majority of the homicides involve drug or alcohol use, either a fight over drug territory or the use of the substance themselves. Oftentimes, the homicides are also between two people who know each other. However, there are still homicides that occur between people unbeknownst to one another. Many community advocates are now voicing their concerns in reaction to the news. It's frightening to, um, to try to understand what's behind all of this and why this is going on. Uh, I suspect that um, the violence in the city is often drug related and, uh, and fueled by addictions and that certainly complicates things. But 20, 20 at this time where there should have been you know, not even seven. Seven last year was already too many. Karen Weeb with the Manitoba Organization for Victim Assistance had a son, TJ, who was murdered in 2003. She understands firsthand how a homicide can affect and hurt a family deeply. I know that there's going to be a lot of very hurting families and people. I've just been contacted by, by one now. And uh, it's, it's devastating to think of of what this means to individuals, families, and, you know, and friends of people that have lost their lives. Daniel Hidalgo, director and founder of Community 204, believes this increase in homicides reflects the state of the city itself and that mental health plays a major factor. I know that mental health has been severely affected with, you know, the compounding effects of the pandemic and lack of resources, lack of opportunity. Um, and with those things, it kind of correlates with an increase in struggles with mental health and mental illness. These advocates say more access to mental health, wellness and low barrier services are needed in the city so less people can find themselves in a dangerous situation. We have to do a better job before a murder happens. We have to do a better job with our citizens, but we also have to do a better job with with providing services to people that are in uh, uh, conflict situations and people that are uh, likely to be in a situation where they could kill another person. My goal for the city and my hope is that we're able to bring those numbers down. Uh, we've, we've kind of had a long stretch reputation for being um, higher in the numbers with regards to homicide and a lot of negative factors. So, you know, we have a beautiful city filled, filled with beautiful people. I think we can we can do a lot better. In Winnipeg, Brianna Marcelo, City News.